we have to start with Rashard Brooks. In the Rashard Brooks case, I'm surprised. I think mogul, most legal experts are surprised. If you don't know who Rashard Brooks is, he's the man who was shot and killed by a police officer after getting into a struggle with police in Atlanta, Georgia, running from the police, but then turning around with uh, one of the officer's tasers, pointing it at one of the officers and shooting it at one of the officers. He was shot and killed by one of those police officers. Well, it turns out now that the officer who shot him has been charged with 11 counts, including murder, which is laughable and disgusting in my eyes. Absolutely laughable and disgusting. He faces the death penalty yeah. if convicted. And, you know, it's a lot of stuff that you won't hear about, but the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, they're saying they weren't even aware of the press conference yesterday before it was conducted. They also said in an official statement that they were not consulted on the charges filed by the district attorney, and they say despite the occurrence, the GBI will complete its mission of completing an impartial and thorough investigation of this incident. They didn't even finish their investigation. Folks, make no mistake about it. I don't care what anybody says. The only reason why this police officer was charged with murder and these other counts, it's very simple. It's because of the BLM movement. It's because of these protests that are going on throughout the country. It's George Floyd. It's Ahmaud Arbery. All this built up. At worst case scenario, where the officers made a mistake, and you could call it more of a mistake, the officer who shot this man, Brooks, kicked him after he shot him. That was a huge, huge mistake on his part. You want to get him with assault or battery, you want to fire him, I have absolutely no problem with that. But the fact now that they are, how do you charge a police officer with murder when somebody points a taser at you? I would have shot the guy too. I, I just, I don't understand it. And I'm not an attorney, I'm not a police officer, I'm not a prosecutor, but let's just be, call this for what it is. It's absurd. It's ridiculous. And, you know, Richard Brooks, you're, I, I know what a lot of people are going to say because I did the same thing with George Floyd. Yes, what took place that night is what we should be talking about, and we have been talking about it. But, again, people are painting this guy, Richard Brooks, out to be a wonderful man, and he wasn't. Just a few months before Richard Brooks' death, he gave an interview to a company called Reconnect. It focuses on fighting incarceration. Have a listen to what Rashard Brooks said just a few months ago. When I did get arrested, you know, it was for a false imprisonment and and uh, financial credit card fraud. I got sentenced to do one year in prison. All right, so we know that this man now has a record. He talked a little bit about his time behind bars. Have a listen to this. It hardened me at a point. You know, to like, hey, you know, I have to have my my guard up because the world is cruel. You know, it, it took me through seeing different things and, you know, in the system, you know, it just just makes you hardened to a point. Well, apparently it didn't rehabilitate you with all due respect, Mr. Brooks. Now, listen, we had his sister on the show a few days ago and I feel for his family. His family did nothing wrong. His sister did nothing wrong. But I asked his sister a few days ago because, you know, there's a lot of rumors that were circulating about this guy. Does he have a rap? Does he have a police record? And I asked her that very question. Does your brother, Richard Brooks, have a police record, criminal record? Here's what she said. Um, I have never experienced him doing or committing any crime. Um, I've spent my last year with him. I mean, it was the first time that we met last year, and, you know, I'm blessed to have memories. But to answer your question um, pertaining to his record, I don't know everything that's on his record, but I will say this. Everybody might have a record. It could be a driving ticket. It could be a speeding ticket, DUI. We sometimes, as young people, have charges that we don't deserve. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> as far as whatever he has on his record, how do we know that these charges are accurate? All right, so here's my response to that. First of all, I understand his sister is grieving. And by the way, that was uh, Brooke's sister that we had on the show a few days ago asked about his criminal record. Family didn't do anything wrong. 
His sister didn't do anything wrong. I feel for the family. But it's Rashard Brooks that did the wrongdoing here. Let's just call it for what it is. He was drunk behind a wheel. That's a very serious crime. Does it, does it mean he deserved to be shot and killed? No. Even though he could have killed innocent people on the roads, but we'll leave that one alone. The police officers did nothing wrong in that conversation. I'm getting tired of people that are saying, oh, the police, they should have just let him go. Why? So he can wake up again and drive drunk behind the wheel? It's the most idiotic thing I've ever heard in my life. I'm just so tired of it. It is so ridiculous. And, Brian, what J.D. has been saying, and he's not here today, but what J.D. has been saying is that <clears throat> the criminal record is relevant as it relates to why he ran. Because that was the million-dollar question. Why did he run? Why did he fight the officers when they tried to yep. put the cu cuffs on him? And now I think it's, it, it's really good circumstantial evidence to say he didn't want to go back to jail. And people are saying, well, he was scared. His sister said he was scared. Well, you know what he was scared of? I don't think he was scared of the police. I think he was scared of going back to jail because of his criminal record. It's very, very simple. And I, I get it. There's a lot of gray area here. It's complex. Does a police officer have the right to shoot you? If a taser is pointed at you and fired, well, it's not murder. I know that, okay? OJ decapitated two people. That was murder. This is not murder. Now, you want to talk about the police officer's conduct after they shot him? That's fine. That's fair game. But everything happened before that. This is not murder. And I support the BLM movement. I really do. I get what most of these people are trying to do. They want equality. I get it. I understand that, but this case has nothing to do, in my personal opinion, the color of this man's skin. And you want to ask me a question, I'll be honest with you. In the George Floyd situation, I believe if George Floyd was white, that probably would not have happened. But in this specific case, with Rashard Brooks, I believe if Rashard Brooks was white, he would also be dead right now. That is my personal opinion. I don't think this man's color had anything to do with anything. And if you don't believe me, then watch the entire video and watch the way the police officers treated this man until he resisted arrest. They treated him with the utmost respect. It had nothing to do with color. The only thing that changed was Rashard Brooks because he resisted arrest. He threw punches at the officers when he started to run. And by the way, this ridiculous, ridiculous narrative that he was running away and he was shot in the back. First of all, he turned around, he had his taser, he fired it at the officer. That's not just running away from the officer. It's firing a weapon at a police officer. What do you say to somebody like that? Where's the personal accountability? Where's the responsibility? It's absurd. It's insane. And now we're learning that the actual investigation here with the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, they didn't even know about the press conference yesterday. I'll tell you what this is, folks. This police officer is getting wamboozled. Now they have the other officer that is going to be testifying against him. The other officer just turned himself in, and he's testifying against the officer who pulled the trigger. They are doing everything in their power to try to get this officer and convict him, and I don't think it's going to work. At least I hope it's not going to work because I don't think this officer deserves to go to jail. Is he a scumbag? for kicking this guy after he was shot? Absolutely. But there, there's a difference between battery and being a scumbag and being a murderer. This guy could face the death penalty. This is a disgrace. If you live in Atlanta, Georgia, I don't care what the color of your skin is. Black, white, orange, purple. I don't care what the color of your skin is. This is a disgrace. I don't care if you're black or white. This officer should have never been charged with murder. And those people in Georgia, in Atlanta, who put these charges forward are a disgrace as far as I'm concerned. You want to call it reverse racism? I will go ahead and call it reverse racism. George Floyd died. I believe he died partially because he was black. I am with you 150%. But for those of you that are in this BLM movement and for those of you that are Black Lives Matter, you need to stand up and do what's right. And this is not right. This officer is not a murderer. Let's put the responsibility where the responsibility is. Now, if you want to make the case, geez, the officer could have just let him run away. Well, I suppose he could have just let him run away, but guess what? I'm not comfortable living in a neighborhood where you have somebody drunk carrying a taser with them. I'm not comfortable with that. Obviously, he wasn't in the right frame of mind. He was drunk. He's a criminal. And you know what? I don't feel sorry for him. I don't feel sorry for Rashard Brooks. In fact, I'll even take it a step further. I don't feel sorry for anybody. Again, I don't care about the color of your skin. I don't feel sorry for anybody 
who fights a police officer, throws punches at a police officer, was drunk behind the wheel, who grabs a taser from an officer, who fires it at an officer, and now you're dead. Am I supposed to feel sorry for you? No. You know who I feel sorry for? I feel sorry for a kid who gets hit by a drunk driver. That's who I feel sorry for. I feel sorry for Ahmaud Arbery, who got lynched, who was doing absolutely nothing wrong. Those are the type of people that I feel sorry for. Philando Castillo, a good man who worked at a school, who did nothing wrong. I feel sorry for them. Are we supposed to feel sorry for Brooks and the morons who burned down a Wendy's and the morons who are painting this guy out to be a another hero? Are you effing kidding me? Number to call if you want to be a part of the conversation, 702-257-5396. Again, the number, 702-257-5396 if you want to be a part of the conversation. And that other officer you mentioned, Brian, he, he actually didn't do anything. He didn't fire the shots. He didn't, uh, he didn't do anything. But what they got him on was apparently when, when Brooks was, had been shot and was on the ground, the one officer kicked him, the same one, Rolf, who, who, who shot him, also kicked him, which is obviously wrong. And then this other guy apparently kneeled on him or held him down in some fashion. Right. And, that's, and that's the charge they got him on. And like you said, you have to wonder, they're going to pit him against the other guy to try to convict uh, Rolf. It's absolutely absurd. It's disgusting. And, yes, I hold anger towards any officer who acts inappropriately or any officer who abuses his power in any way, shape, or form. But I'm also going to take to the other side and say I am really angry at what going on, what's going on in Atlanta right now. I am really angry that they're trying to make some sort of example out of this police officer. It's a joke. It's a sad joke. And I'm going to tell you something. These, these people in Atlanta, these people who uh, put these charges down, if a jury does the right thing and does not convict this guy, it's going to make racial tension even worse. They are doing an injustice for African Americans, even though it might seem the other way around.